What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we're going to show you the different lighting effects on Rocket's ISKU FX gaming keyboard. Now, the original ISKU gaming keyboard did have backlighting, but it was only limited to a single color. With the ISKU FX, you have pretty much any color you want. So we're going to go over some of the different effects and some of the different things you can do with the backlighting on this keyboard. The first thing we're going to show you of course is the normal backlighting. So we have it turned on and we have it turned on to its highest setting. Um, there are five different light modes as well as the lights completely off, which makes a total of six. So there is an illumination key right on the keyboard. So you don't have to do anything in the software. All you have to do is just hit that button and we're gonna turn the lighting off. So it's completely off if you don't want it on. Now, again, there are five different lighting levels so we can go through them. It's level one, two, three, four, and five. And it is pretty bright. I've seen brighter keyboards, especially on mechanical keyboards. Um, I've seen brighter lights, but it is pretty bright. And of course, it is gonna gain some attention if you are at that LAN party or something like that. Another thing to note, the thumbster keys are illuminated, but they're only gonna be illuminated um, when you have the other keyboard lighting illuminated. So if you have it completely off, those thumbster keys right here are going to turn off. You also have um, LEDs for your different profiles that will indicate which profile. You also have an audio, um, audio feedback when you change profiles, which I'll show you. So we're gonna change our profile. Profile two, profile three. Profile four. So as you can see, we have that actual audio feedback, which is pretty cool, especially you might not know which profile you're on. That audio feedback works really, really great. Now we're gonna go into the actual software and change some things around. So right now we have it set on red, but maybe I don't want red. Maybe I wanna go back to that original blue. So we'll go to blue and we hit apply and just give it one second. And it's gonna change our keys here to blue. Now, again, you can pick any color that you want. You can also change the illumination without the um, actual button on the mouse or on the keyboard. You can do it in the software. So let's turn the brightness down to maybe like 50% right there and we'll hit apply. And it's going to turn that brightness down. But of course, I like my brightness all the way up. So we're going to go all the way back up in the software and I hit apply and we're all the way back up. Now, one other cool thing, um, there, there is a breathing effect of the lights dimming and getting brighter. Um, it's just a cool little effect to have if you want it. So let's go ahead and change the color to yellow here. And we're gonna turn that breathing effect on and we hit apply and you'll go ahead and see what it does. So we've changed the color to yellow and you can see the breathing effect in action. It's pretty cool. Again, something that's gonna get a lot of attention whether you're at a LAN party or something like that. Just looks really, really cool. And again, this can be done with any color you want. Talking about any color that you want, there are predefined colors um, that Rocket gives you in the software, but it also gives you a full color wheel so you can pick any color that you want. So let's maybe, let's try, I don't know. Let's try say, let's see here. Um, let's try to find like this, maybe, I don't know, let's maybe like a light neon, neon yellow or like a neon, um, green. Let's try neon green. Let me see if I can find in the color wheel, try to get a neon green here. So I select custom color. We'll turn our breathing effect off and we'll select custom color here and we'll hit the apply button. And now you can see, I've, I tried to get that neon green, neon yellow color in the color wheel. Of course, you can set your R, G, and B setting yourself if you have a custom color that you would like. Another cool thing is a thing called color flow, and that's actually gonna flow through all of the different col color options on the keyboard. So let's go ahead and select that, and you'll see what that does. And for those who maybe are like maybe might be stuck on a certain color or have a bunch of different colors that they would like. This might be the perfect thing for you. This is gonna flow through all of the different color options on the keyboard. So if we give it a little bit here, you can go ahead and see it's gonna flow through the colors. Um, nice, you know, nice and slow. It's just gonna constantly keep on changing the color of the backlit keys on the keyboard, which is pretty cool. Um, 
Again, another added feature of this keyboard, and all of the lighting features are really easy to configure right in the software. We do have a, an overview of the driver software that comes with this, so you can see actually how easy it is to use. But this is basically it just showing you the lighting effects on Rocket's ISKU Gaming Keyboard. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And as always, we thank you for watching. Thank you.